spirits passing through the doors of time and with an invitation heard before we find shadows on the mountainside eagles find the soul Say hi And the outcast child Enchanted by the sun Will he seek his shelter Never knowing one Shadows on the mountainside Find the souls they hide yeah. Shadows on the mountainside Cover me taking a new direction now? Are you, you getting different musical inspirations now? Um, I think what's happened is uh, some of the idealisms that we cemented, I guess, on Splendor Solace, uh, we're going to take to the next step. Um, a lot of people that have heard the new material in the live shows or whatever, our you know, comments are much heavier, you know, that type of thing, much moodier. So, um, 
I don't know. Um, it's definitely, I think, for us, it's a step in the right direction. And I think the fans will appreciate it as well. well. It happens, you know, that you're, you know, three young guys from sure. Windsor who are, you, you're, you know, in your little town, and you're writing music, and you're being inspired by perhaps records that you buy and watch too much music and what's going on around you. Now you're sort of more on the offensive, and you're out and you're seeing the world. It's got to affect who you are as people, and therefore your songs. But what we find too is, uh, especially with countries uh, such as Australia and New Zealand that we've toured, um, we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the indigenous cultures of those countries, right? So with the Aboriginal people, the Maori. And that type of thing. How? So, How did you do it? What'd you do? It's just making an effort, getting out there and making it up, meeting the people, getting real with the people. You, know? you went out to some of oh, the, yeah. the uh, areas? Yeah, definitely. What'd you do? <laughs> just like meaning, just hanging out, like uh, listening to them play the didgeridoos and, and that type of thing, right? Just getting real, like even conversing with them, like finding out about their poetry and their, their spiritualism even, and that type of thing. Even on the streets, you'll see the people taking in the didgeridoos and all of the, the drums and percussions and stuff, so. Swan, the so an Aboriginal art uh, industry over there as well. Mm -hmm. like Alice Springs, right in the center. There's like 40 museums. It's pretty incredible stuff. So we're going to hear some Aboriginal inspired <laughs> music on Actually, this Actually, we picked up a ditch yeah. review, so. Yeah. 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 Do you know that women aren't allowed to play those? That it's taboo for a woman to play a ditch review? Well, we'll Australia. bring one in if you really want not to. Not allowed. <laughs> you can break Very the rules. Very bad. Out. I don't know why, but it's not good. Anyway, thank you so much. I know that you're playing tonight. There's a big festival, I guess, big concert yeah. with you and David Gogo and the Headstones yeah. and Junk House, yeah. which shows that there's really such a strong Canadian rock scene yeah. now. Yeah. That's basically the, the focus starts to, is the blues, really, and then everybody has their own approach to yeah. it, right. which is a pretty great. It's an Ontario place, so yeah. you guys may want to check that out. And also, if you're fans of this band, the Tea Party, August 11th, we have a spotlight on your band. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. yes. So we thank you very much for dropping by and keep on posted because you're doing another gig in Kingston? Hmm? Yeah. When's that? Uh, tomorrow. The following day, tomorrow at Stages. So. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Good thank new you. song. Thank you. Thank you. And here's Tea Party, how much?